had my own philosophy. Okay. So here, so tell me, Amy, yeah. what makes you believe Jesus died for your sins? Jesus Christ makes yeah. you believe that. No, I want the verse. Quote the okay. verse, please. Okay, all right, one minute then, please. Okay. okay. And then I can ask you many questions from the Bible, okay, that's fine. which indicates Jesus never died for your sins. Yeah, okay. How do you know that? How do you know? From the Bible. Oh, no. Is that, is that, is that your phone? Give me a moment, I'll get you a list of verses. Okay. <laughs> I got many verses from New Testament. An Old Testament as well. Okay. So what do you believe? Um, Are you a Christian? No, I'm a Muslim. So, but I read the Bible because of Jesus. Ah, sure. Yeah, because uh, all the information in Islam, about Jesus comes from the in Bible. Islam, the in Islam, Jesus also is our role model. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You know, so if we look at the Bible, in, yeah. uh, in 1 John 1, 7, it says, yeah. if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. That's one verse. What, do you, what is your comment okay. on that? Okay. Um, do you know, when you, want to be, when you want to find out whether a person speaks the truth or not, that person speaks different words. Let's say if I say, if I ask you now, did you eat food today? And you tell me yes. And then after one minute later, you tell me no. What does that indicate? That you're lying, yes? You're not speaking the truth. So in the Bible, we find out, do you know Jesus, the person who betrayed him? Judas. Yeah. Jesus, because of Jesus, wished Judas to not born. And he said, I wish that person who is betraying me, wait, wait. He said, I wish Judas, he would not born b before I, today. I think he didn't say, I wish, I think he would wish he wasn't born. It's a bit yes. different, No, right? I'm saying, Ju Jesus yeah. wished Judas to be not, and if he said, I, he, it would be better if he would not been born. What do you think? You know why? Okay, now, and he said woe to him, perish on him, Judas Iscariot. So now you tell me if Judas, Jesus, came to die for your sins, including Judas, why would Jesus wish bad for Judas then? Yeah, Can so, you answer that so question? My, my response is not that he said okay. um, that he wishes, he says that he will wish. And the reason for that is because Judas will go for hell for eternity. So Why? Why would he go eternity? Why would he go for hell? Obviously, obviously, it's better to not be born than to be in, no, in eternity. No, hell. you're not getting the point. But that's the point. My, point. my question is, if Jesus came to die for your sins yeah. and Jesus wished oh, okay. Judas to be perished, and he wished also it would be better if he were not born yet. So my question to you, yeah. why would Judas go for, to hell if Jesus died for his sins? Because Jesus, because Judas didn't accept him you know as what? his Lord because and Savior. No, no, where he you, says no, that. Uh, wait, if wait, you wait. ask why, the answer wait, wait. is okay. can you show me? <laughs> can you show me in the Bible where he says Judas did not accept Jesus as a Savior and Lord? Well, it doesn't say that he did. It, it doesn't says say he that. Him. No, it says that he betrayed no, him. No, betraying doesn't mean doesn't mean betraying doesn't mean Judas does not believe Jesus to be his Lord and his um, his God. But well, we know he betrayed him in the. Was in Judas the was Judas a Christian or not? Um, no, he wouldn't have been. So he knew no, that he would betray Wade him. No, Wade says that in the Bible. He says that in, when they had the no lying and betraying does not take you out of Christianity. So I want you to tell me a clear verse where in the Bible it says Judas, Judas was not a Christian and he didn't believe Jesus as his Lord. Do you have any verse? So, so in the Bible when it talks about... You're just saying yes? Yeah, I'm trying to look okay. for it. Yeah. Okay, you show so, me where it says Judas Iscariot was not a Christian and he didn't believe Jesus as his Lord. Therefore, that's why Judas, Judas is going to hell. Yeah. If, well, you, if you don't have that verse... I got many verses, but this is one well, of them. If we, if we look, um, in a, this is a first of all, this is a prophecy, interestingly enough, right? No, do you, no, we, I'm you getting, get it. I'm getting, so if you look, what did I ask you, you first? You asking me for proof? Prove that, what? Um, that Judas was never a Christian. Well, no, was not a Christian, and he didn't believe Jesus as his Lord. That's why he's going to hell. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
So in uh, in Luke 22 it says that the, the feast of the living bread drew near, which is called Passover, and the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. Then Satan entered Judas, uh -huh. so name is Cariot, who was numbered among the twelve. So he went his way and conferred with the chief priests and captains how he might betray him to them, and they were glad and agreed to give him money. So he promised and sought the opportunity to betray him to them in the absence of the multitude. So, so we know Why that. Why says that? So we know Why does it say here Judas Judas Iscariot was not a Christian and he didn't he was believe never a Jesus as a Lord? He was never a Christian. But the Bible there's says, no Christian says that. Huh? There's no Christian here that agrees with you. Yeah. That Judas Iscariot was not a Christian. Well, it There's was... no single verse in the Bible. So now this is one of my points proves that Jesus never came to die for your sins. No, come on, it doesn't, that doesn't prove anything. Okay, another one, I got another one. Can I just read you one thing, please, okay. before we move on very quickly, right? Okay. Very quickly. Okay. The thing is, do you know that this was prophesied? That it was prophesied that Judah will, will sell him for... No, I, I, I'm not talking but about whether Jesus was prophet. No, I'm not this talking about Jesus was prophet. Uh, Judas was prophesied that he's going to betray Jesus. I'm not talking about that. My point is to prove Jesus never died for your sins. Otherwise, you, uh, Judas Iscariot would, wouldn't go to hell for betraying Jesus, and Jesus wouldn't wish for him if it, and he wouldn't say, "Parish on Judas, upon but Judas." The, the is, I wish he it would be better if he would not born no, he yet. He doesn't say, "I wish that." It says that he would wish he that it would be better. No, you would, it would so be better. That I, means you wish. If I, no, no, no. If I if I said to you, right, uh -huh. you're going to hell, right? Uh -huh. it, I it, you would wish that it would be better for you not to be born and to go to hell. That that makes complete sense, right? You're not getting the point. So you're not getting the point. No, either. I'm saying Jesus wished all that because of it. Judas betrayed him. You understand? So if Jesus come came to die for your sins, including Judas. Why the sins of Judas was not forgiven? Right. The point is that um, the point is that this was prophesied. If you look in Zechariah, uh, in verse 12, um, it talks about how Judas will betray him. This happened thousands of years before. So Jesus knew that this was going to happen. Um, so um, it says. Um, so it was broken on the day that the poor of the flock who were watching me knew that it was the word of the Lord which you know is Jesus. And I said to them, it is agreeable to give you, give me my wage and if not refrain. So they waited out for my wage of 30 pieces of silver. This is not, it's not proving whether Judas was... The sister here, Amy, is saying Judas, the person who betrayed Jesus, was not a Christian and he didn't believe in Jesus. Do you yeah. agree with that? But it, you know the, the thing. By is, betraying, does that prove you disbelieve to Jesus? So the, the point that I'm going to try to make is that in the Bible it says that. Do you know Judas Iscariot is one of the disciples of Jesus? So how can you tell me a disciple of Jesus was not a follower of Jesus? That contradicts contradicts your because beliefs. He wasn't a true follower. That contradicts your beliefs and your argument. No, which doesn't. is Judas Iscariot is one of the disciples of Jesus. So therefore, Judas Iscariot, you cannot tell me Judas Iscariot was right. not a Christian. Where, where can I find Judas, a... Judas Iscariot is a Christian. No, otherwise, a Christian. Christians should take him out and remove him out from being one of the disciples of Jesus. Yeah, but and another verse. Answer. Okay, now, Antina, you're not showing me no, a clear cut it. verse. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Give me a moment. Uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, yeah. yeah. All the people of Muhammad yeah. that followed Muhammad yeah. never turned their back on Islam. Yeah. Yeah. What are you saying? Until now, Christians believe. No, I'm saying. Say again. All the people that followed Muhammad yeah. from the beginning, yeah. none of them turned their backs on, on Muhammad. No? Some of them done it. Exactly. So but no, my point is now, until now, when you find out. Google it and ask Christian scholars and pastors and priests. You, if you ask them, the disciples of Jesus, they include Judas. Right, can I read you the verse? Because the point is, in Christianity, we believe it is that you're born again. So if we look at the first of this of John, it talks about whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has either seen him nor has neither seen him nor know him. 
Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested and might destroy the works of the devil. I'm nearly done. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. So basically, Judas was never born again. So he was You're not getting No, he's a Christian. He agrees with me. No, he he's, he, he's a Christian. There's no verse, no, clear verse. Now you're telling me. No, Jesus saying that he would not been born, he would not born yet. He said because of betraying him. It's not about saying he's not a Christian, he was a disbeliever. Judas was a believer. He was one of the disciples of Jesus. Now let me come to another point. That one you never answered. Nowhere it says Judas, no Christian or scholars, pastors would agree with you that Judas Iscariot was not a Christian. Does the Bible okay. say you let have to be to born the again? Does it, does it, okay. Answer me my question, please. Does the Bible let say me, you have to be born again? Let me come to another point. Are you going to answer my question? Before say again. Your point? Okay. Does the Bible say that you have to be born again? By according to context. What is the context? So the context is um, that um, that you have to be born again in order to go to he to heaven. Yeah. So it says. That um, has got nothing to do no, with it Judas. No, it has everything to do with Judas because that applies to all people. So if we look at the Gospel of Those, John... Let me give you the context. Says, I'll give you the context of that so verse. Most surely I said to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So it is clear that, Jude, uh, that Judas was never born again. Let me give you the verse, uh, the context of this verse. Okay. The context of this verse, even the priests and Christians, pastors, the context of this verse are the ones who dis did not believe the Christ yet. Like, like Muslims, you believe we don't believe Christ, uh, Christ or Judaism, or a, a person who practice, practices Judaism. This verse, the context is anyone who did not believe in Jesus yet. Judas Iscariot believed in Jesus. For betraying Jesus does not make him to be out of Christianity. No, it, no, 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 stay there. If you carry on reading, no. this verse, we know this verse, Christians, all of them are saying, eh, they say this verse, they call this verse to the disbelievers. Judas was not a disbeliever. Show me a clear cut verse where it says Judas was a disbeliever. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Judas Iscariot was one of the disciples of Jesus. No, let me call, let me go to another 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 verse again. Let me finish. Yeah. Don't be deceived by Islam. Uh, Islam, 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 Islam is a deceiver. Jesus. Can you take him? Take him. Muhammad take is him. a deceiver. Okay. Quran is a deceiver. Okay. Nicodemus. Allah is a deceiver. Nicodemus. 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 Can you take him? Take him. So take him. Need Go with him. Okay, I will give you another verse. No, let me finish. No, I need to come. No, I'm proving my points. Jesus never died for this, for your sins. Let me finish one point. Okay. Okay, you finish then, I'll carry on. Nicodemus said, how can a man be born again when he's old? Can he enter his mother's womb when he's old? And then Jesus says, very, very, I say unto you, unless one is born of the Spirit and of the water, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And we know the spirit baptism came on the day of Pentecost and Judas wasn't there. So Judas did not experience this born again experience of being filled with the Holy Spirit. So that Amen. would Now, Judas, well. Judas yeah. is one oh, of the agree. disciples of Jesus. No, no. Okay. No, no. No, 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 agree. No, I'm saying. No, no. 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 Priests and pastors. No, you are Christians and pastors and priests disagree with you. They believe. Now, if you search up, the Google, search up on the Google now, ask the disciples of Jesus, you would find out the first one, you would find out one of them is Judas Iscariot. So you cannot tell me a disciple of Jesus is not yeah. a Christian. Double standard, doesn't make sense, that logic. No, okay. I'm going to read another your, verse. I'm gonna read your no, controversial please. verse to no, explain my verse. point. If you look okay, at Luke then I will 14. move on. Yeah, that's fine. If you look at Luke 14, uh -huh. Jesus says to me, Jesus says, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life, he cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not bear his cross and come after me, he cannot be my disciple. So the point is that you, and in the revelation it tells you that if you're lukewarm, he will vomit you out of his mouth. So the point is that Jesus demands 
total devotion and total commitment. If not, if you're half-hearted, he will vomit you, he will put you in hell. So in that case, it's better that you're not born at all than to end up in hell. This has got nothing to do with Jesus. It has everything to do with Jesus. I mean, Judas. This is what many Muslims quote uh, in uh, Matthew 7, 21. Yeah. Muslims always quote this. It says, not everyone that says unto no, me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay, would you come, please? Yeah. They're saying, this is what Muslims quote. Uh -huh. So you know that just because you even say Jesus is Lord, yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be part of the kingdom of God. And so we know Judas was a worker of For you, you believe Jesus is not God anyways. That verse, you cannot use it for me. I'm sorry. You can't use that verse for me. You can use that verse to her, not me. Okay. So now another verse again. I'm giving you another verse. All right. If Jesus died for your sins... That means including every sin, everything. Every time you commit a sin, because of Jesus, your sins are forgiven. It's clear. So now I'm giving you another verse. If you go to Matthew, I mean, yeah, Matthew chapter 12, verse 32, it says, whoever sin against the Holy Spirit, his sins shall not be forgiven for et eternity. But if you sin against the Son, your sins are forgiven. Yeah. Again, Mark chapter 3, verse 29, verse 29 to 30, it says the same. Yeah, because it's so now I'm asking, if Jesus died for your sins, and you sin against the Holy Spirit, and your sins are not forgiven for eternity, yeah. what Jesus died for then? So he died some specific sin, or all sins? I, I tell you what that means. Basically, the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God that comes and dwells in believers. No, right? And no. we become a temple of God. And those who blaspheme against the Holy Spirit are those who don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. So when you die, you have blasphemed against the Holy Spirit. You yourself, you have the offer now to receive the Holy Spirit, but you reject it, so you will go to hell. I will never blaspheme the against the Holy Spirit. You're not getting it. I'm not you're saying not you will never. It. Do you agree no, no, with me or no. not? Yeah. Do you agree with no, me? Yeah. No, look, I'm look, not saying even, wait, wait. even. Even the Quran says, even the Quran says that Allah will not forgive the sin of those who worship idol, those who worship other than Allah. So look, when Muhammad worship Lat, Manat and Uzat. Now he's gone out oh, of context. Muhammad will be forgiven. He's gone out of context. How oh, Muhammad will please, be forgiven? Can come take him, please? When Quran clearly Amy, says, Amy, whoever Amy, worship me and him do not get other than Allah Amy, let will me speak not to you be now. forgiven. Would you answer? How would you answer Allah is forgiving please, Muhammad. Please, please how Allah, Allah is forgiving Muhammad. And Al can you please, answer me? Go first. Can go you answer me? The whole Quran, the entire Quran, Muhammad and even find worship, out where Prophet Muhammad worship Allah and Allah. Allah, Allah, Allah. No verse in the Quran. No verse in the Quran. Can you answer me? No verse in the Quran. Please, I'm sorry. You oh. are saying something else, please. Surah 53 verse. Verse what? Verse 19, 20, and 21. Do you know who is speaking? Muhammad worship Lat. Where he says that? Go read. Go read. Uzzah. There's no way he says that. Sahih please Bukhari okay, says listen. clearly. Okay, Amy. You don't okay, please. Sahih Bukhari okay. says clearly. Amy. That Muhammad. Don't ask and him. Don't have to be respectful. No, 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 no. No, he's just talking. He's not answering. I know him. How Muhammad is so now, forgiven them. Now I'm asking. If the, Jesus died for your sins. Yeah. If Jesus died for you, yeah. all your sins, yeah. how come when you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven? <laughs> Does it make that, sense? No, if Jesus does died sense. for your sins, it that does means does. he died all your it sins, which sense. means if you sin, all your sins are forgiven. But here in the Bible, it tells us if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins are not forgiven. Therefore, yeah. Jesus died for nothing. Otherwise, if Jesus could die for your sins, everything, including every single sin, that means if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins should be forgiven. No, but it's not for